In the first season of restrictions by President Ekufuado, schools were reopened for final year and second year good track students on Monday. Following the reopening, the Kimbu Senior High School has displayed on walls of the school infographics and notices that provide information on the preventive measures of COVID-19. The headmistress said the school has also allocated an isolation center for any possible eventuality. She outlined to City News other safety measures taken by management of the school. We have also formed a COVID team so that apart from ensuring that they put on the masks before entering the compound, occasionally the COVID team goes around the classroom to ensure that students are in their nose masks. We have also designated a room so that in case we realize that a student's temperature is very high, we isolate the student there and our nurse communicates with the appropriate quarters. That is the uh, Adabraka Polyclinic. She was actually posted to us from Adabraka Polyclinic. So we have a room designated with two beds for that purpose. Meanwhile, the MP for Kole Klote, Dr. Zanetta Rollins, assured schools within her jurisdiction that her outfit has put measures in place to ensure constant medical supplies to contain the virus. This was after she made a donation of Veronica Barkett and nose marks to the school. So I've spoken to the staff, the teaching staff, the, um, the headmasters and uh, other principals, as well as the directorate, so that when I can't go around every day, but they know the situation, so we have regular briefings to see where we need to you know, boost whatever it is that they need, that they don't have enough of. It's an ongoing thing, and I think that's how we're going to play it. Just make sure that we are not running short on supplies and then catching ourselves off guard. At the Osu Presbyterian School, there was an infirmary which was donated by the 1993-year group of the Old Students Association to help in attending to suspected cases of coronavirus. Management made an appeal to the health directorate to allocate a health official to the center. Once we get a nurse for this place, then any student who falls sick, not only because of the COVID, but throughout our school days, anyone who is not feeling well can be attended to before taken to hospital. And so we are praying that we get the nurse. The chairman of the COVID-19 team of the school also indicated that punitive measures will be instituted against students who flout the safety protocols in the school. Uh, we'll continue to create the awareness and then uh, we are hopeful that very soon as management will come up with sanctions because uh, government has even come up with sanctions backed by uh, the courts or by legislation. So we need to follow suit and let them know that failure to comply by the protocols will attract some sanctions. The Sacred Heart Technical Institute has names of students and boasts on each desk with a maximum of 24 students in a classroom. Officials have also been positioned at the entrance of the school to check temperature of students before their entry into the classrooms. Our school resumes for final year students of senior high schools and second year go track students. Measures have been put in place by management of some senior high schools in Accra to ensure the safety of students. Reporting from the Sacred Heart Technical Institute in Accra, Amni Ayukwe Okain, for City News.